King Blitzkrieg has declared war. Let's see who will lead the counterattack. <gasps> That's improbable you would have picked me. This Halloween season, why not join me in Rise of Kingdoms, an awesome mobile MMO real-time strategy game inspired by history. The game is completely free with 11 historical civilizations, amazing real-time battles, a never-before-seen-on-mobile infinite zoom function, and super sweet alliance battles. If you think you have what it takes, I dare you to try to take down my kingdom. Rise of Kingdoms is gonna hook you up with reinforcements if you click the link in my description. You'll get 200 gems, two silver keys, two times 50,000 food, and two times 50,000 wood by using the code <clears throat> MPQS3SF4CH in the description. And they were even nice enough to set me up with my own little alliance that you can join, so be sure to check that out as well. So what are you waiting for? If you like this show and you like what we do here, please consider going down to the description box below and giving Rise of Kingdoms a shot today. And uh, don't forget to use my promo code if you can spell it. Okay, let's go. Haunting, I'm home! Today we're gonna to be looking at something called Haunted Lives True Ghost Stories. And that's right, real ghost stories. Not fake ones. Real ghost stories. This little known American miniseries, eventually shortened to just Haunted Lives, then subsequently retitled to Real Ghosts. I mean, what are you gonna do? It's hard to settle on a name for something you really care about. I mean, personally, I would've just named it Warning, Do Not Watch, True Ghost Stories. The first season stars an aeration of Leonard Nimoy of Star Trek fame, somehow, uh, till I guess he realized he was on a sinking ship because he bailed on season two. The aim of the show was to take paranormal stories that were supposedly true and dramatize them into little shorts, not unlike unsolved mysteries. On the face of it, it doesn't really sound like a bad idea. But it seems they mostly lost their heads in the execution. Going down. So, let's just get ready and dive right into this episode of Haunted Life, shall we? Let's, this is gonna be good. Reaching out from the world that lies. What is it with the doors in these shows about the spooky shit? They glide through the portals of our imagination. They shouldn't exist. They shouldn't even exist? That's a bit of a heavy statement. Listen, I understand they're spooky, but who are you to say that morally they should or shouldn't exist? Look, you've made that poor boy cry with your ideology. You proud of yourself? Well, we're uh, off to a good start with that horrendous noise that has shattered my eardrums. When one thinks of ghosts, one imagines ruined castles or a lonely graveyard in the dead of night. But recently, psychic Sylvia Brown investigated a series of hauntings in a most unlikely location, an ordinary toy store in Sunnyvale, California. Well, you're not wrong, that, that's definitely not what I was expecting. Also, I think that is a ghost just in itself. This is a place in which they had lost, or reportedly had lost, six managers. So out of desperation, they called me and said, would you please come in because we think we have a ghost. How is this the first thing they went to? They're like, six managers have quit this Toys R Us within like a three month span. This place is fucking haunted. I can't believe there was a time like recently in the 90s when anyone would officially call a psychic for anything. Someone would still do that now, wouldn't they? They'd still do that now. Don't hurt me like this. And by the way, I thought this was just a dramatization at first, but I found out that that is actually renowned psychic Sylvia Brown playing herself. Everyone else is an actor in this whole thing, but Sylvia Brown is playing herself for some reason. 
Uh, now, if you don't know who Sylvia Brown is, I don't blame you. Uh, during the 90s in America, she was this famous medium slash psychic who uh, claimed to be able to talk to heaven and angels via her spirit liaison, Francine. But don't worry, I've got good news for you. They were able to officially debunk her uh, in 2002. Uh, they used an advanced method called looking up anything she said and finding out it was made up completely. I am just as shocked as you are. She's gone, honey. Do you know where she's at? Yeah, in heaven on the other side. I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years and I'm, I'm here, I'm free now. Thank God they got to that in a timely manner, okay? Think of what havoc she could be wreaking if she were out here today. Oh wait, she can't, because she's dead. I wonder if she predicted that so she wasn't on the toilet when it happened. It's a story of unrequited love. And not like some of the violence we see at other, let's say, ghost stories. It's sad, it's, it's tragic. What are you gonna do? Every now and then you just get a sad ghost story. All right, they, they can't all be happy. It was the new frontier of California. Yanni Janssen was a barely literate, emotionally disturbed farmhand who lived- All right, okay, why don't you tell me what you don't like about the guy? Consider me a Yanni Janssen fan. You sure it wasn't just Johnny Johnson? And he just wrote it wrong because he's illiterate? Yanni Janssen lived for just one thing, his desperate love for his employer's daughter. Elizabeth. Yanni, you have to stop writing me these letters. I don't mean to upset you. Yanni, I can't read this shit anyway. You are literally illiterate. This isn't even a letter, this is a picture of a house. What is that, an elephant? Yanni, where did you see an elephant in 1800s America? I don't have very much to offer, but what riches I do have are in my heart. I don't love you, Yanni. You have to understand that. You can't read, but I know you can hear. I, I don't mean to hurt you, but I'm getting married in six days, and it's best that you forget about me. Bye. Wait, wait, you don't know me. Very good point, Yanni. That is indeed exactly why she is now backing slowly away from you. Elizabeth, don't go. Real ghosts. Actual serious ghosts. Fiction? Think again. This man has clearly not seen my work safety video. Yanni, no! You can't go out like this! Oh, he couldn't read or write or do much, but... Yanni, no! To think no one stopped to help this poor man as he was fatally bleeding from the shin. Funny enough, that's actually where the phrase comes from, if you don't know. The Achilles shin, okay? That's a very weak part of the body. One blow, and you're out. It's a big flaw in our architecture, okay? If I was designing humans, all right, I would have just left the shin out entirely. Would have just connected the femur directly to the ankle. It's a much sturdier design. So you, can, you can try all you want. You're not gonna get a shin blow on that, on that design. Oh, get over it, Yanni. It's just a dent. You'll live. Oh! 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 Oh, shoot! Time passes, as time will. Time is known to do that, of course, on occasion, for it is usually the property of time to pass. And so it has. What was once an orchard became a busy toy store, filled with the sounds of laughter, the hum of cash registers, and the presence of something else. So basically, yeah, now the orchard where Yanni shinned himself is a Toys R Us. What a premise. Hello? Is anybody there? Uh, yeah, most likely, because this is a highly trafficked warehouse at 4.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to clip the back of your hair there. I'm just relocating some fishing line. As you can see... Whoa! Hold on. Where's the fire? There's something back there. Where? In the storeroom. 
and touched me. Oh, that's just Mr. Cosby. He's here promoting his new lineup, Puddin' Pops. While your right hand is doing this, your left hand can be doing this or this or, you know. Excuse me, are you the manager? Yes. There's something wrong with your bathroom. The water comes on by itself. No cause for alarm, ma'am. Uh, th that's just the automatic faucets. May I please have the rest of the day off? Oh, whatever it is that scared you back there. Couldn't be worse than me. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for it. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, it's only the storeroom. Nothing to be afraid of. Delta Squadron, come in! I need a direct line to Randy Newman, goddammit! So yeah, this is uh, what they are trying to pass off as real. Now you gotta remember, this ain't fiction, okay? This is supposed to be a documented account of the events as they happened. Okay guys, we got a little problem. So I am putting the storeroom off limits for the next couple of days. Welcome to Go Saw Us. Can I haunt you? <laughs> this is not a joke. Listen, crab cake, this ain't funny. Did you not see there was a fucking frisbee dance on the walls with a dinosaur back there? Yeah, sorry kid, that's not gonna cover it, even with inflation. Haunted cash register, isn't it obvious? Well, you think she maybe like, maybe like pushed a button wrong or something? No, 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 that's, that's, a, that's the work of a ghost. Bill. Did you stack them like that? No. Well, what about those, Bill? Did you stack them like that? Wow. Well, no, that's a hot mess. I'm not sure uh, anyone's gonna be able to tell what that is. Do you wanna show? The kind viewers out there, you want to show them what this is supposed to be? Still got you though. Still fucking got you though. We just found out some really interesting information. Uh, a long time ago, some people named Elizabeth and Martin Murphy lived here in Sunnyvale. They had this hired hand named Yanni Janssen. All this stuff happened exactly where the store is now. She may even know who the ghost is. Oh, son of a bitch! Get out of here, you pesky ghost! Trying to listen. Is it From what I can tell, this has all the signs of a real haunting. All of them. All the telltale signs are here. I just love the fact that Sylvia Brown is actually in this. I mean, her being in this implies that this dramatization is exactly how it went down. She was there. She would have had to look at the uh, scene with the floating pogo stick and go, Yep, I was there. That's exactly how that happened. What a tragedy. What exactly is a haunting? It's spirits that don't know they're dead. See, in this case, Yanni Janssen is in a time warp. It's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. I mean, I've reviewed all the files here, and yep, this motherfucker's in a time warp. So how long will he be doing this for? Months, years, maybe. It could be a week if you're lucky. Unfortunately, these things are case by case, totally situational. I love how she's talking about this haunting like it's indoor plumbing. She's like, ah, that'll clear itself up in a couple weeks, months, maybe. I wouldn't worry about it. That night, Sylvia Brown tried to summon the spirit of Yanni Janssen. Yanni, are you with us? Yanni, can you hear me? I can feel his presence now. In 1991, all these goons got together and sat down in the back of a Toys R Us and tried to summon the ghost of Yanni Janssen. That's right, you heard me. They all had a seance with Jeffrey the motherfucking giraffe and... <sighs> How'd they get corporate to agree to this? How? Hello, Yanni. Come closer so we can see you. I come from the future to tell you that brick and mortar establishments will become unsustainable due to online retailers such as Amazon.com. You're looking for someone. Yeah, I was just looking for a customer sales rep. I was wondering which one of these bikes would be best for off-roading. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Murphy. She's on the other side. You have to go towards the light to find Beth. Go on now. Come on, Yanni, get. Don't make us hard and has to be. Go towards the light. Huh. Well, that was easier than expected. Thank you. Hopefully he's gone. 
nobody likes poor Yanni, all right? I mean, if you get down to it, all this guy really did was love a woman and accidentally kill himself in the leg. So, Sylvia got paid and fled to Madagascar to avoid tax fraud, and Yanni's ghost was cast out of the Super Soaker Isle forever. Or was he? In the end, tragedy turned to triumph, as Yanni finally learned to read and write. Good job! Yanni's appearance in the 1982 seance, as evidenced by this famous infrared photograph, was not his last haunting. This famous infrared photograph, no doubt you all know and love this one, needs no introduction, all right? It's as American as Mickey Mouse and apple pie. There it is. Everyone's got one of these laying at home. Why am I even showing it to you? This just looks like a bunch of people waiting around, especially that lady. She's not even looking. If, you, if there was a ghost right in front of you, wouldn't you be, think you'd be looking at it? She looks like she's just talking to her friend, like, so what do you do next Sunday? I'm pretty sure they're trying to pass this guy off as Yanni Janssen. But I think um, if my deduction skills are correct, that's just a dude standing there. In January of 1991, we revisited the Sunnyvale Toys R Us where employees, past and present, gathered <laughs> to talk about their experiences in the intervening years. This part is amazing. They go back to the same store to talk to the employees about their paranormal experiences with Yanni over the years. And they basically all have nothing to say. But they know this is their 15 minutes of fame and they are not wasting it. And I said to the manager, you say what? Did that frighten you? And he said, it sure did, Pat. You say what? Lillian, I'll tell you what I say. I say that I love you with all my heart. Be my grandpa! I had gone in to use the restroom, heard the water turn on, kind of looked under, saw nobody in the restroom. <laughs> the water turned off, the door opened, and... Let's just say, let's just get two things on the record right now. One, he's currently serving 25 to life, and two, I didn't know a penis could be malformed in that fashion. So I'm working by myself over the door one day on greeting duty and a man walks in about this high, reminding me of Yanni. So I looked at him, I says, are you Yanni the ghost? And he replied to me, I'll never forget it, as long as I live. He said, no sir, I'm just here to buy a toy. He still walks up and down these halls. Someday, of course, he will leave. Someday he'll leave? Sylvia, what do you mean someday he'll leave? What did everybody just pay you for? I saw you with my own eyes sit back there. You said, hate be gone, and he disappeared back into his wormhole. I'm starting to think you might be a scam artist. <sighs> Some things never change. Well, this has been fun or painful, depending on your definition of words, but uh, I've gotta be going now. So until next time, I wanna wish you all out there a very Merry Halloween. Oh. Come on, stupid 1920s technology! Son of a bitch!